one, but this is very, very important. This is a, a federal judge ruling in New York City on Monday that the stop and frisk, frisk tactics of the NYPD violated the constitutional rights of minorities in the city. Okay, this judge called it indirect racial po profiling. Why should everybody out there care? Because, Eric, this is coming to cities to everybody at home, this is something that the Department of Justice is pushing. Um, they are pushing to get these advisory boards to monitor the cops. Can you imagine if cops can't stop and frisk suspects? So, yeah, I, I, I was wrestling with this all day yesterday, trying to figure out, you know, because I'm, I'm very much in favor of the Fourth Amendment and the Constitution. Probable cause, I've said, Greg's head's going to explode if I say it one more time. <laughs> so I'm trying to apply this here. And, and uh, uh, Loda, what's first, first name? Loda. Joe Loda. Joe Loda was here on Fox and Friends this morning. I pulled him aside. And he talked about being, that being constitutional, the stop and frisk being constitutional. I said, well, where's the probable cause? And he said that 90, somewhere between 90 and 95 percent of these stop and frisks um, have cited a probable cause, a yep. suspicion. So that puts it into the Fourth Amendment. So let me just point out one more thing. This judge, Shira Scheindlin, is mm -hmm. apparently a, an activist judge. She's had a lot of her decisions overturned. In her opinion, she cites Barack Obama. She, she cites um, the New York Times. Um, and the George Zimmerman case. So I have a hunch. This well, New York City is going to appeal, appeal this. I have a hunch this thing's going to. What do you think the cops are going to say? Of course they're going to say probable cause. There were two million of these stop and frisks since, since 2002. It is clearly a violation of the Fourth Amendment. It is no, clearly not. profiling, and it ought to stop. Now well, I understand. Wait, 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 wait a second. Profiling and the Fourth Amendment are two separate wait, wait things. Wait a second. Wait a second. The other thing is I can understand why the police react to this because remember the civilian police boards. That was something that got them very freaked out a long time ago. But overseeing these things, I think, by an independent board makes a lot of sense. These cops can say whatever they want to say, and whose who's word are they going to take? Bob, do you, what do you think of the remedy? That one of the things that the judge suggests is then to privately videotape them without their consent. <laughs> How does that not violate the same principle that you're talking about? No, it, because you're in a public place walking down the street. I don't think you should be Bob, videotaping people. But I'm even the that judge, that the cases that she looked at, this judge ruled most of them constitutional. She said they had the right to stop these suspects, the right to frisk them. The one cop went and looked into his pockets, Greg, and she said, sorry, you can't do that. And you know what? This stop and frisk law benefits mostly Hispanics and African Americans yeah, how, the because they go into these bad neighborhoods, Bob, and they have illegal guns, and so cops have to do their job. Who are they protecting in those how, bad how neighborhoods? How all those people they stopped were picked up for anything that, that was illegal? Uh, 6%. Yeah, a very okay, small well, part. Go. Greg? The interesting thing is New York City is the safest, largest city in the country. And there's a reason for that, and it's, uh, it has a lot to do with these practices, which, I which Andrew is correct. A lot, the reason why minorities are stopped are because they're in minority neighborhoods. It tends to help the minority neighborhoods. Whites are also stopped at a larger proportion than they, than they commit crime. They do that, so it's not a, ra it's not a racial thing. Uh, there's no t alternative to this success. The reason why you don't see movies like Death Wish and the, Wander and the Warriors is because you can't film those movies anymore in New York because New York is no longer like that. Mm -hmm. You can't make those kinds of movies. You can make those movies in Chicago. You can make them in Detroit. You can make them in Atlanta. You can't make them here. Why did Chicago's murder rate go down uh, for a while? Because New York cops went there. Yep. You know, and now we're going to adopt the practices of the losers, and we're going to return to the 1970s and the 1980s. Yep. Yeah, and this we're going to get over the Constitution in the process. This is going to get overturned. Yeah. It's, it's too successful. It's, to it's, it is con so it's, it's successful. Very Does that mean you don't override the Constitution because it's, it's successful? Not, well, Bob, I, I, it's I like the NSA you. program. I know. Right. No, no, successful. it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's very much different. There's, there's uh, um, a reasonable, there's probable cause. They're arguing it is a though. What is the probable cause? S someone Bob, suspicious. one of the suspects was I crawling see. out of a window of a dilapidated home. That's, That's probable wrong. cause. That's Another wrong. one was a wanted poster. The man That's looked true. exactly like the person on the wanted poster. These are the cases the judge said were constitutional. That's true, and there's two No, so this judge is wrong on this. Makes me want to leave New York. It's so ridiculous.